Uh, welcome to this uh, video and we're going to be looking at uh, binary addition today and um, what do we mean by binary addition? Well if we go back to our computer basics we know that if we put the numbers um, 2 and 4 into our, um, our keyboard and when we're doing a calculator that's going to come up in, uh, as the answer is six but actually what is is happening so in our cpu okay um it's quite it's actually quite a simple device um you know compared to some technologies but there is something in in the cpu which is called an alu which is the uh, arithmetic logic unit which does calculations and as we know, the CPU does the calculations in binary, okay? So it's actually converting those into uh, binary, okay? So if we look at it very basically, okay, it, we've actually got this, that's two in, in 8-bit binary, and then plus four, which is going to be... Okay, so that's what the ALU in the CPU does, and then it adds it together and then outputs the results um, to you uh, it, on your screen as the number um, six. Okay, and that's what it's doing. So, how does it do it, and how can we do it as humans? And that's what we're going to do today. So you're going to need a sheet of paper for this because um, in your Edmodo quiz, okay, I'm going to ask you the questions, but you're going to need to work them out on paper. So if I do want to um, add some binary numbers together, how is that done? So if I wanted to add up this number, that binary value, Okay, plus this binary value. Okay, how do I do it? So how do I do it? Well, it's not too tricky, but you are actually going to have to really watch what you're doing. So the first thing to do is to make a grid to help you add those up. Okay. And you can probably guess what I'm going to do next. If you remember previous week's learning, I'm going to put some numbers up there. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and one, two, eight, which corresponds to the value. Okay, now to help you with this, okay, um, I'm going to just put a line there and add them up. Now, we know that we can only have the value of zero and one when we add these together. So we can't have two or four or whatever. We can only, in here, have the value zero and one. So how does this work? Well, here is the one column. So this is saying here how many ones are that well there's zero one plus one one so zero plus one one is one okay in this column in the two column it's saying zero twos plus zero twos well it's zero in this column it's saying well okay zero fours plus one four well that's four isn't it so that's one Zero plus zero in the eight is zero eights. One zero sixteen plus one sixteen is one sixteen. So that's one zero one plus zero is one zero plus zero is zero and zero and one twenty eight hundred twenty eight plus zero is twenty eight is one um, twenty eight. So what is that? Is that the answer? Now how can we check that? Well, we could actually add in here. A cheeky little way of doing it which is to see what that is in deanery and then add them together and see if the result is correct well well 128 
plus 32 is um, 160. So it's 160 plus 116, 1 for us, 20, 21. So this answer should be 181, but is it? Well, let's check. So 128, yeah, 32 is 160, 176, okay. 176, 180, 180, it is. So we've done it correctly. Okay, so some of those questions will be like that. Now, some of the questions will be a little bit trickier. So let's do our columns. So the first thing when you're answering questions in Edmodo, get a bit of paper by your side and do what I'm doing, okay? And my, I'm not very neat, my advice is not particularly neat, okay? So whatever sum you're gonna get, um, try to, I'm going to give you an easy sum, but I want to show you, I want to show you how you would do that without um, doing the deanery. So what if I had two binary numbers like this? Okay, so I've got two binary numbers really messily drawn i'm sorry about that okay so the first thing to do zero in the one column zero one plus zero one is zero 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 is zero okay that's zero now here it comes a bit trickier okay i got one and a one well the one and one is not two is it because we're actually in the eight column so we're saying here well, what's one eight, that's basically an eight, plus one eight? Well, in the eight column, it can only take eight, can't, oh, eight, can't it? So what do we do? So, well, one eight plus one eight is 16. So it's not an eight, so it's zero in the eight, and we carry one, one 16 into the 16 um, column, okay? <coughs> And now we've got the interesting um, dilemma of 116 plus 116, okay, plus 116. So what is that? Well, let's just keep it simple. So 116, that's 16, that's 16 plus 16. Well, that's actually, well, 16, 16 is 32, but we've got another, that's 48, isn't it? So what's 48? Well, we don't have a 48 column here but we've got a 32 and a 16 so i'm going to say well 48 is an is the next one say well it's 116 and then it's another 32 okay Did you get that okay so now on my 32 column i got one for 0 32 plus 0 32 plus 132 so i put 132 and 0 0 0 so well let's check that okay well, what's this? So that is deanery, that's 24, and this one is 24 as well. So we know the number should be 48. Is that 48 in binary? Yes, it is. But we did a bit of a calculation there, okay, which is quite an interesting calculation of getting carries and carrying through and counting in binary. Okay, so that's quite a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, so when you get the quiz questions in Edmodo, first thing to do, number one, write the numbers down. Okay, on a piece of paper, so like, whatever the number, I haven't even made the numbers up yet, but like that. Yeah, then two grids on them, like these ones here, and then start adding in the columns, okay? Three, add using the techniques I've shown you, and then four is check versus deanery. So just add it up in deanery and see if you've got the right mark, all right? So hopefully you'll get all of these correct. So thanks for watching and good luck.